Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, quite a few questions concerning the October 2020 update. A lot of you are asking me uh, how stable it is and so on. Well, just think about one thing is that the October 2020 update is pretty much the May 2020 update. It's just that they had a couple of little things that they actually turned on and um, they are some of them are actually available within the latest version of the May 2020 update anyways. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video on how to turn on that new designed uh, start menu uh, that is uh, kind of follows the accent colors of your operating system a little more. Remember that if you do that, do go to your settings. And in your settings, um, in personalization, make sure that once you go here in the uh, colors, you do have, uh, you know, automatically pick an accent color from my background uh, and make sure that start taskbar, action center, title bars, and all of that is chosen. Once that is done, your start menu will actually always follow some of the colors of the background and the tiles will blend in with the different colors of your themes and your wallpaper. So if you want to have this start menu rather than the old one, um, it's not a big change, but it's a change that is good enough that I actually really enjoy and you have new icons and everything. You have to uh, go into the registry. I have a video that does explain that, so I'll post the link to that video that you could go to to see it. Uh, if you want to do that, because a few people said, where's your video where you explain how to change the start menu in the May 2020 update? And what that does is that it actually enables the same feature of the start menu with the accent colors and everything. So if you don't wish to go to the October 2020 update now, but do want to see the new start menu, the new style, then just follow the instructions in the video. As for the rest, um, what I would have to say is um, that for the, you know, the May 2020 update now has been pretty much tweaked. And it's moving on. You know, last time we had numbers and we're going to have some numbers probably in about a week from now. We were at about 25% of everybody on the May 2020 update. So uh, it's rolling out much faster and it seems to roll out pretty well right now. The October 2020 update is the same version. It's just a cumulative update. For those already on the May 2020 update, it's just a cumulative update. So it's really not um, a big upgrade process, and it's pretty much the same version. So when you type WinVert to see what Windows version you're at uh, in the October 2020 update and in the May 2020 update, the ending are the same. It's just there's one little change. So you'll go from 19041 to 19042 in the, in the October 2020 update. But the ending, dot .508, is the same for both versions because they follow each other. And that's like last year's uh, two Windows versions, um, 1903 and 1909. So um, that's going to be interesting to uh, to see that we pretty much follow the same thing. So the same updates will apply to both uh, versions. So if there's an update for the May 2020 update, it automatically, automatically it's an update also for the October 2020 update because they are the same version pretty much. So uh, that means that the October 2020 update, apart from switching on a few things, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, really not a big update. And uh, it's, you know, you're not going to be forced on it if you're in the latest versions of Windows uh, at the same time. So don't worry about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.